Hey YouTube, this is Eric. I'm going to be reviewing the Retronaut console. I saw it one day on Facebook, scrolling through, and it looked really interesting. I'm a big fan of old video games, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Atari, and so forth. Um, so I looked at it, and they had two options. Uh, each one had several thousand video games, and I think ten plus consoles on each one. Um, so I piqued my interest, like I said, and I went ahead and ordered one. Um, this is what came in the mail today. Um, I don't want to show you the other side because it has my address on it. <clears throat> but um, it did take about four weeks to get here. Um, they were pretty behind on their shipping, as, as I can imagine, as you could, would imagine. They're pretty busy with all the orders coming through. Um, so this is what it looks like. All I've done so far is just cut the tape here. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up and see what's on the inside. So it looks like some kind of instruction manual. Um, some more instructions. Bubble wrap. Okay, so this is the Raspberry Pi. That's the console. And the two Bluetooth controllers. The... SIM card. I'm guessing it's already in there. Let's see here. Yep, there is a SIM card in there. 128 gigabytes. Uh, looks to be a power cable. A couple of micro USB cables. The adapter, the wall adapter. And that looks like to be about it. Whoops. Let's go ahead and open this bad boy up and see what we got going on here. They put it in a really nice case I remember seeing on the on the website. And yep, there it is. It's got the Ethernet port, four USBs. On the other side it's got the power for the micro USB. It's got the HDMI, 3.5 millimeter jack. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and set all this up. I'll do that off camera and um, go ahead and turn it on and see how it works. Okay, we're back and the um, I've got everything set up. So there's a switch on the power cable, which is really convenient. So I'm going to go ahead and flip that and get this thing turned on. There we go. Okay, so I did skip the setup of the Bluetooth controllers. As a novice, it took me a while to get this going, but they did include some instructions. And if you follow the, the instructions like you're supposed to, you, you shouldn't have any problems, especially if you're um, messing with ROMs and, and programming and things like that. Um, so here we go. It's getting started here. The lightning bolt up in the corner um, tells you that the remote is talking to the talking to the uh, system here. So once you get it set up initially with the Bluetooth controllers, if you hold down A while it's starting, then you shouldn't have any problems. <clears throat> so here on this main screen, you have all the different systems. Dreamcast, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, Sega Master System, so on and so forth. <clears throat> and there's a menu at the bottom. It tells you exactly how to access everything. The uh, ports here, uh, when you select it, this is where you access Kodi. So then you can then go into Kodi and program it, set up all your uh, different things in there. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up a game here. and just show you how the gameplay is. It, it works pretty flawlessly. Uh, there's not a whole lot of lag. It just kind of goes uh, with the way I'm pressing it. Uh, much better than playing on a ROM on a cell phone or uh, anything like that. I'm going to go ahead and look for Super Mario Brothers, which is one of my favorite games. This is the Super Nintendo version, so it should be Super Mario World, I believe. Okay, here's Super Mario World. Go ahead and enter.
And there you have it. It starts up nicely. Once you have everything mapped out, you're good to go. You can just kind of start. The sound works great. The gameplay is pretty flawless. Works well. The uh, controller, I'm, I'm actually really impressed with the controller and the functionality of it, how it works. It feels very similar to a Super Nintendo remote control, at least from my memory. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of here and go to a different game, go to a different system. Once you're in a particular system, if you just hit left or right, it'll go to the next uh, gaming system. This is the, um, the deluxe version, so it does include the Dreamcast and the PlayStation games and uh, MS-DOS, I believe. So this one does uh, cost a little bit more, but it's well worth it. Uh, I'm going to look up Sega Master System here. There's a couple of games on here that I used to just love. Um, Altered Beast being one of them. I'm going to go ahead and check this one and see if this one works okay. You'll get a screen like this on some of the games. If you do, just go down to Launch. And it'll launch the game. And let's see how it works out, how the gameplay is. This is an 8-bit game, so it's a little slower, laggier, but the controls were working flawlessly. So there you have it. It's a very short review, but it, I'm very happy with the system overall. The customer support has actually been really good. They, um, like I said, it did take about a month to receive it. But now that I have it, I'm glad I waited and didn't make a big stink about it. Um, for me, growing up, these were the systems that I played on, and, and uh, it's hard to find these. And I'm not, I'm not a good, you know. I'm not good with computers and things like that, so it's hard for me to get ROMs, and I don't have time to do that, um, set everything up, so with emulators, so this is a, a great alternative, it's worth the money, in my opinion, and um, I think you should check it out, it's well worth the money, thank you.